Hello fellow grower, I'm back again and welcome to my channel, The Late Grower. Now in this video, I'm going to make an update of my poinsettia plants. These are uh, my poinsettia plants right now. And uh, it is uh, about time that I give it a little trim and also to propagate uh, some more of these uh, plants. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I made a video several months ago of uh, these poinsettia plants and uh, I think that was about seven months ago and uh, compared to several months ago it has now grown quite a lot sorry for the noise it has grown quite a lot and I've already also transferred it to a bigger container uh, it used to be in a small pot but uh, they got root bound in that small pot so I had to transfer in this uh, bigger poly bag it is about uh, four gallon in size so uh, they can stay here uh, permanently okay so right now I'm going to make give it uh, a little trim the main purpose actually is uh, to propagate so I need some branches to propagate uh, this uh, plant just like before what I will do is to cut the branch so by trimming this poinsettia plant uh, it can also encourage it to strengthen its uh, branches so you can see right now it has uh, several branches but uh, some of them are uh, small so I have to remove some of the small ones so as to encourage the bigger ones to uh, grow branches okay so let me cut from the here so I got one of the uh, stems Let's take this one also. Okay. Now, by trimming this uh, poinsettia plant, uh, I'm now encouraging it to grow branches uh, from this uh, mature uh, stems. Okay, and uh, also to encourage some of the remaining branches to get uh, thicker and uh, stronger. Okay, now as for propagation, uh, I'm going to show you how to propagate the stems from poinsettia plants. Now in my first video about uh, propagating poinsettias, uh, I showed there that you can propagate poinsettia plants using matured branches. Uh, those brown branches actually. So these, uh, these were already brown branches when I uh, uh, propagated them as uh, cuttings. Now, uh, this time, I'm going to show you how to propagate using not really mature branch, but uh, at the same time, also not that young. This is not, I cut the tip of this uh, branch. You see, I'm not that successful when it comes to propagating percentages from uh, the tip of its uh, branch. So, I'm using a, a little bit mature uh, branch. And in this case, I removed all of the leaves. As you can see, it has no leaves. So, right here, right here I have the uh, soil where I will put this uh, cutting. First thing that I uh, do is to water the soil. It has to be wet. Okay. And then, next is to just insert this uh, cutting. Uh, just make sure that the cutting will not reach the bottom of this uh, poly bag. So it must be about at least one inch uh, away from uh, the bottom. So. I can insert it up to here. There. Okay. Now, in the, the first video, I showed you that I put it in, inside a uh, plastic. Okay, to keep it in a contained uh, environment. But, uh, by way of experiment, I did uh, some cuttings uh, a few months back also and uh, I found that sorry for the noise I found that uh, you can also be successful in uh, growing cuttings without putting them in a, a uh, plastic bag no? so here I did not also use the growth hormone that I used uh, uh, 
uh, in my last uh, video. I just uh, put it inside the, or uh, just bury it in the soil. And after about two weeks, you will have this result. This uh, branch, this cutting, I uh, planted around uh, two weeks ago. And uh, right now, it has uh, shown some uh, growth. Now, uh, it doesn't mean that it, it, it has rooted already. That's why I still keep it in a uh, shaded area. So after uh, putting it uh, in soil, you have to keep this cutting in a completely shaded area. No direct sunlight whatsoever. Even if uh, the cutting has already grown uh, some leaves, I still keep it uh, right now in a shaded area. Until such time that it, it has grown some uh, branches, about uh, maybe an inch or two inches in uh, length, with uh, also bigger leaves. Okay? So, this is also one way of uh, propagating poinsettias, even without using the uh, growth hormone or without uh, enclosing it in a uh, plastic bag. Just keep it in a shaded uh, area. Okay, so this is it for this particular video. It's uh, kind of short. I just would like to share with you another method that I discovered in propagating poinsettia plants. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!